Hey everyone, and welcome to this tutorial video. I don't want to waste anyone's time with a long intro, so let's get straight into the build. We're going to start off by creating a flat piece of land that's big enough to hold our house. Once we have done that, we'll lay down the outline of our build. The dimensions can be seen on your screen. We replace the dirt with spruce planks because it makes for a much better floor. Then we stack the outline up one layer with smooth stone. But we also add in a three block wide space for a Windows planner box. On the back, the corner posts are made out of stripped spruce logs. Once we're done stacking, we'll fill in the walls of the bottom floor. We decided to mix our materials straight away, but you can keep things simple for yourself and do this afterwards. We're also adding in our windows now. We frame them with cobblestone, and the top windowsill is a stone brick stair. This adds some depth to this otherwise flat design. We make the door opening the same way, and the large window box gets the same treatment. We're switching up glass blocks and panes here to create an extra element of depth. You can stick to panes if you prefer that. We add a wooden windowsill display to the front and place our fences to create the support for the overhang we'll add later. Switching between cobblestone and fence gives a nice effect and allows us to create a slight arch with the fence gates. We connect it up to the house and add in the cobble wall supports on the left side of the house and repeat that same trick with the fence gates. We fill in the side and back of the house. with those strip logs as corner posts. Next, we'll lay out the rooms of this house and add the doorways. The measurements are on screen. That wraps up the first floor of the house. Now we add a layer of spruce planks all around the perimeter of the house and use stairs to add a smoother transition to where there is a depth change. We also add the strip logs as corner posts in the front now. We stack up the second floor with our corner post going up first. One floor is six blocks high, so we'll add two more floors to the center of the house. Next up, we fill in the walls with sandstone. Again, we mix our blocks straight away, but it may be easier for you to do this afterwards. We also threw in some birch planks and strip logs in there to create a more weathered look to the material. We add our central window with a fence post running through the middle and we add trap doors to the side as detailing. We repeat that system on the floor above, but we switch up our materials a bit. We continue filling up the front facade and add windows where we think they will look good.
We start shaping our gables and finish up the walls that will be visible from the outside. Once we have this, we add the side of the house. This wall won't have windows as it's more of a city house and an alleyway would run next to it. We're using planks to show where the different floor levels will be inside the house. We then add trapdoors to add some detail to this otherwise very boring side. At the back, we fill in the walls and add similar window designs that we use in the front and shape the gable. The windows at the back of the house are usually less ornate than those in the front, so our designs here are simpler as well. We do add some trapdoors to look like shutters. The left side of the house is filled up, and just like the right side, there's no windows here, so we use trapdoors to add a bit of structural detail. We start clouding the top part of the house and shape the tower. We are using nether bricks, but you can use dark oak planks too if that's easier to find in your world. start shaping the gables at the sides of the house as well now. And add a small window and fences for some detail. Create the crest of the roof out of dark oak and create the overhang. Then it's all about filling up the roof. Every three blocks we add some dark oak to break up the large monotonous surface.
At the front of the house we add a small gable window to let in some more natural light. At the rear of the roof is fairly easy and we just stack out the roof shape we sat out at the edges. Again we break up the surface with some dark oak at the top of the roof. The roof is looking a bit too dull, so we decided to add two small gable windows to the back as well. That's really going to help bring more light into the house. With that done, we're just left with adding the roof to the right side of the house. And we'll add a small chimney where the roof meets. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this video and that you've been able to recreate this great looking survival house. If you have any requests for more tutorials, please write them down in the comments. And while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. With that out of the way, all I have left to say is, thank you for watching and have a great day.